Alright everyone, today we're taking a look at the game Wizard Extreme. Right, so in the game of Wizards Extreme, or uh, Zing, or whatever one of the many names the game is called, it's a trick-taking game, uh, kind of like Spades. So, and if you haven't played Spades, it's like Hearts in Reverse, sorta. So, um, you have five different suits in the game. Alright, you have blue, this pinkish color, uh, yellow, green, and red. And then you have these other different colors, and each suit has tokens. Red has more tokens than any of the other colors. And then you have these black and white tokens, and then this little character called the Saboteur. Alright, so what's going to happen is these cards are going to get shuffled up, and you're going to deal out cards to each player. And so I'm going to shuffle up for a uh, four-player game. There's certain numbers you play up to. Each card has different uh, numbers. And so you play up to a specific number. I think you played a nine for two players. Gosh, let me actually look. Hold on. Okay, so in a three-player game, you play cards 1 through 9. You play cards 1 through 12 in a four-player game. And you play all the cards in a um, five-player game. So let me uh, actually sort these out real quick here. All right, so you have your uh, set of cards. And so what you're going to do is you're going to set them up. And if you have a hard time with colors for these cards, at least there are symbols you can look at uh, to help you decide or, you know, distinguish uh, where the what suit the cards are a part of. All right, so this person would look at their hand, and obviously it wouldn't be displayed for everyone to see, but you're going to try and determine how many tricks you're going to take. And by taking a trick, it is uh, the person who plays the highest card of a suit or a color will take those cards. <coughs> so the cards go from 1 through 12. So of this color he has a 6 and a 9. So maybe he doesn't think he'll take any tricks with that color. Harry he has a 2, 3, 5, and 11. He's probably not as likely to take tricks with these cards. May not with these. However, um, with only 12 cards out there and he has one third of the cards and there's some other people he might there's a chance he could get stuck taking a trick with one of these if he gets stuck with a card and he has to lead with you know a card and everyone else has used all of the color he could get stuck with a trick there here he's got eight five and six here he's got a twelve nine so he's likely to take a card with this twelve but there is a chance that he can't and I'll explain those all and he has of four. So this player has to decide how many tricks they think they're going to take. So let's just say, um, let's say he predicts he's going to take two tricks. Now these four colors here are just standard colors. So let's say he thinks he's going to take a green trick. Uh, now with, with red, reds are trumped cards. So uh, if somebody, let's say he played this yellow and then it, and then that went around and those cards were gone, now he's out of yellow in his hand. And somebody else plays a yellow. And he doesn't have any yellow to play. Uh, he can play a card of any color that he wants, but if he plays a red, all right, that red is considered a trump card, and that means um, that doesn't matter what value of yellow is out there, a red will take it, and if more than one person plays a red, highest red will take it. So, he's probably not going to take any yellow, but then if yellow's continued, he's going to be able to uh, play cards, and maybe he would want to uh, screw someone else over who thinks they're going to take cards with the yellow. Maybe someone, one of these people has a lot of yellow cards, and so they think, oh, I'll get a lot of yellow trumps. Well, he knows that he's going to be able to play some other cards. I don't know, so let's just say he thinks he's going to be able to, I don't know, mess over two people. He might play, one of the cards he might play is 11 to get to, get it out of his hand as soon as he can. So, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, he thinks he's going to take two red and a green. And then, so then these cards would go into his hand, and these would be placed in front of him. 
And so now he has to get rid of these uh, tokens by the end of the game. And if he doesn't, they're going to be uh, negative points against him. I think it's negative two points per token that you do not have uh, you know, removed from your area. So now let me look at some of the other people here. All right, this player has four red cards, uh, one green card, and three of these other suits. Now this person, maybe they think, you know, I don't, I'm kind of, I got not very many green, I'm kind of low on these cards, or, you know, only have one-fourth of them, but I kind of have a lot of those trump cards. Something he can do is, instead of taking predictions of how many tricks he he's going to take, he could take what's known as a saboteur. And if you take the saboteur, what you're trying to do is screw up other people from taking their tricks. Um, and if you're able to do that, then when people aren't able to take, when people take tricks that they weren't expecting to take, um, they would have to take these black ones. And for each, so, right, so the saboteur starts off with four points. And again, you don't want points. So he starts off with four points if you take them, so you automatically have four points. But for each time a person takes one of these black tokens, that is, they take a trick that they weren't expecting to take, then they have to take a black token into their side, into their area. And I believe that's worth negative three points. But it also reduces the saboteur's um, negative points. So he would go from, if, some, if this person took this black token, the negative, the saboteur would go from negative four point or from four points to three points, and this player would gain two points. And then if somebody else took a trick that they didn't plan on, the saboteur would now go from three points, because he lost one here. That would go to some other player, and the saboteur would go down to two points, and somebody else would pick up uh, three points. Alright, so let's say this person says they're going to try to be the saboteur. They're going to try and screw this up for other people. He may not have the best hand to actually do that, but he's going to try it. This player starts the uh, game, and let's say he uh, leads with a, a five pink card. And so then the next player, he has to play the same color card. And he doesn't have any um, pink here, so he doesn't want to take a trick. So he looks at his hand and he goes, well... Maybe I'm safe playing the six. That's the lowest card he happens to have, so he plays the six card. Now it's the saboteur's turn. He looks to see if he has any pink cards. He does. Um, so maybe he plays the four card because he wants. He's going well. You know, maybe this guy will take the trick. Um, and then if he takes it and he didn't plan on it, that means he's going to have to take a black one, black token, which will hurt him but help the saboteur. And then this guy looks at his hand and he looks at his pink cards and he goes, uh, all right, I got, he's like, I got the 12. He's like, good. And he predicted he would take a pink trick, so he played his 12. So this goes away. So he saved himself that and these cards just go over to a discard pile. So since he took the trick, he gets to lead in the next color. And so maybe he goes, all right, he's going to play like a, an 11 yellow because he has two yellow ones he has to get rid of. So the next player looks at their hand and they look at their yellow and this person didn't think they would take any yellow so he plays his highest yellow which is a six. This person doesn't think they're gonna take any yellow or doesn't want to. And he plays his only yellow which is a four. And then the saboteur looks here and now if the saboteur didn't have any yellow he would be able to play like a red card meaning the saboteur would take the trick, which would screw this guy over. Um, but the saboteur does have some yellow, so he plays, he's going to play a 7, which is his lowest yellow, but it doesn't hurt the saboteur to take any tricks. So this guy was put, got it with an 11, so he gives up his token. He goes, all right, he plays out another card. Bam, I got the 12 yellow. There's nothing... Higher than that, but again, somebody could screw him over. So he goes, he plays the 12, and so then the next player looks and goes, all right, I'll play my three. And so here the next player looks at his, and he goes, um, he goes, well, I, I predicted I would take two reds. He doesn't have any yellow, but he thought, like, maybe he'd be able to get some tricks with his reds, so he's going to throw out a five which is going to screw over that guy. 
and now the trick's going to him. And so now the saboteur plays a yellow, and let's just say the saboteur plays an eight. So the trick goes to this guy, and he gets rid of one of his red tokens, and now he only has three. And so this guy was hoping to get rid of that yellow one. He still might have a chance. So now uh, let's just say he throws out a 12 green. No one's played green, so he's thinking, well, maybe everybody has green. And the saboteur has a green, so he has to play one. So he plays a seven. This player has a green, but he also thinks he's going to take a green. So he doesn't want to play his highest card. So he's going to play a two. And then this player, does he have any green? Yes, he does. He doesn't want to take any green. Uh, well, maybe he does. He thought he would, and he has this one there. But he's going to play it. He's going to throw out his 11. All right, so this player takes these cards, and he's able to get rid of his green token, and he gets to lead again. And let's say he throws out this five blue card, and he doesn't want to take it. So now the saboteur looks at his, and the saboteur knows this guy wants to take it, uh, but he doesn't know what he's going to play. But the saboteur thinks, well, if I play a 12, I'm, I'm definitely taking it. And so then the next player, he looks, this guy doesn't want to take it, so he plays his highest blue. And then this player here, he does want, he does think he's going to take one, so he's going to play kind of like a mid-range one. And this goes to the saboteur. The saboteur looks at his hand, he gets to lead. The saboteur's going to lead with a yellow 10, and that way he's able to vacate his yellows out of his hand, and that might help him to play reds and screw somebody up. So now this player over here, all right, he's got two yellow left, but he thinks he's going to take a yellow trick. And his odds are diminishing, but he's going to throw out the two. Maybe he can take it with a five. This player looks here, he has a yellow, he only has one yellow, so he plays his one yellow. And this player <clears throat> has no yellows. And he thinks that he predicted he would take another red, so he's just going to throw out a red and take it with a red, which allows him to get rid of his red token. Now he gets to lead again. And maybe he leads with a three of that bluish color. And the saboteur comes with a ten of that color. This guy, um, does he have, he has one, he has a four, so he plays a four. And this guy has, he plays a six. All right, so the saboteur wins. The saboteur gets to lead. And what's he going to play? He's going he's gonna to play a 10 red. So now nothing can trump red, so now it's just the highest red. So people look at their hands, and this guy's like, hey, I'm going to take a red. And so he throws out, he's going, well, I hope nobody has a 12, because he throws out his 11. And if this guy has a 12, he would be able to take it to screw up that guy. But he doesn't, so he just throws out a 3. And then this guy looks to his hand for a red, and he only has one. He has a 6, so this, this guy actually ends up taking it. He's able to get rid of his red. He's like, all right, good. Now he's looking at his greens and his yellow. He throws out a 10 green. Does this guy have any green? Yes, he does. He's going to throw out an 8 green. This guy has greens, and he thinks he's going to get rid of a green, but he doesn't have anything higher than a 10, so he throws out a 5. And the saboteur, does he have any green? The saboteur does not have any green, so he's going to throw out a trump red and screw everyone over. And now the saboteur gets to lead, and saboteur's going to lead with a red 12. So people look at their hand. Uh, he plays a red 9. This guy plays a red 2, and this guy doesn't have any reds. He doesn't want to take any blue, so he plays as high as blue to vacate it from his hand. Saboteur takes that. Saboteur now looks at his hand. He's going to play this 8 pinkish purple card. This guy's going to play his 3 pinkish purple. This guy wants to take it. He's going to play an 11, so he's hoping to take it with an 11. This guy has one of a 9, so he was successful, so he's able to get rid of that. Now he gets to lead. He needs to get rid of a blue and a white, and it's getting down towards the end. He only has 3 cards left. He's going to throw out, he's going to throw out his blue, which at this point, it's risky because someone could just take it with a red. All right, so this player throws that out because he does, is that blue? Yep, that's the only one he's got. And then the saboteur actually does have one, so he has to throw that out. And this player over here, this guy, he doesn't have one, so he can play anything, but he doesn't want to take the trick. So he's just going to vacate this card because he doesn't want to take a tri those tricks, so he gets rid of that. He predicted correctly, so now he goes, he has to take one more. He's going to try and take... A green. This guy also needs to take a green, so he throws out a higher green with a 9. Saboteur doesn't have any green, so he's going to screw them all up by throwing out a red. This guy, uh, he threw out a red 1. So he's going to throw out a yellow 5, because he doesn't want to take it. So Saboteur gets that, and then it's just last card. Saboteur plays 1. This guy plays a red. That, that. So he takes this trick. He wasn't planning on taking a trick, so he takes one black. So Saboteur, only one person took a black token. So Saboteur has three points. 
The guy with this token didn't get rid of it. This is four points. And then this is two points, two, four, and then seven points over there. And that's kind of how the game goes out. So it's a trick-taking game, but there's a little, you know, the wild cards, the trump cards, stuff like that. And that's how you play.